So Shrewsbury Town are having an absolutely shocking season so far. They currently sit 16th in the League One table, just five points clear of the relegation zone. And Shrewsbury Town recently sacked their manager Matthew Taylor and replaced him with Paul Hurst from Grimsby Town, who won his first game in charge, but subsequently lost his second game in charge, leaving Shrewsbury Town with a genuine chance of being relegated to League Two this season. And that's where we step in. We are going to be jumping into FC24, second charge of Shrewsbury Town and winning them a UCL trophy. Remember, if you enjoy this type of content, boys, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help me out. Let's get into the rebuild. So this is the Shrewsbury Town team of order than two boys and yeah, we're in big trouble. This team could genuinely get relegated in season one to League Two. There's a serious lack of quality in the central midfield position, striker position, centre back position. I think it would be a massive achievement if we could keep this squad of players in League One this season. I'm also not a fan of this five at the back formation, which it seems every single League One team use. But however, Shrewsbury don't actually have any wingers, so I'm going to change the formation to see what I can do. So after having a mess about with the formations, boys, we've decided on a 4-3-3 attack for this Shrewsbury Town team. Now, looking at the team that we've had a mess about with it, I do think we have got a better chance of staying in the division. But once again, lads, that is going to be a big, big ask because I do think we're looking at a League 2 team there on paper without any disrespect to Shrewsbury at all. And to make matters worse, boys, we are stuck with this squad until January the 1st because we always disable the first summer transfer window in these rebuilds. Now, when we do get to January the 1st, we'll be looking for a new first-choice right-back as we're actually playing George and Uster, who's actually a left-sided player, meaning right-back is definitely a priority. And I'm also thinking, lads I'm really not happy with the striker options we have at the club Odor looks like a decent striker but he's 26 year old probably not going to grow much more the next best striker is Phillips who's on loan from Palace and then we've got Mata who's 22 year old and 62 rated I don't think he's ever going to amount to much so going into January we definitely want a new striker and a new right back now this might not even be possible though boys we've only got £2 million of a transfer budget meaning if any contracts need renewing we're screwed and yep I know it boys plenty of key first team players need the contracts renewing genuinely it looks like we might not be able to sign anyone at all in season one and hopefully it doesn't come to that. So we've sieved through the players and renewed the contracts from the players I think can actually benefit us in future seasons but every player you can currently see here is now available for transfer as we're not renewing any of these players deals. And we now still have two million pounds so hopefully we can bring at least one player in. Now looking at the team on paper I think we're strongest in the wing position so we're going to go for the wing player tactical vision as I think that gets the best out of our current bunch of players. So we've started at the starting 11 and the formation, the tactical vision and the finances. There's nothing left to do but simulate four to January the 1st and I'm just hoping to see Shrewsbury outside of the relegation zone. So I've arrived at January the 1st, boys, and do you know what? Maybe I was a little bit harsh on this Shrewsbury Town team because we currently sit 6th in League 1, only losing 4 of our opening 27 league games on 43 points, level with Charlton, above Derby, and there's a genuine possibility that we could get into the playoffs this season. So we have sold some players, boys, to run up some transfer funds, and I'll run you through them right now. Harry Burgoyne joined Northampton for 270 grand. Elliot Bennett joined Jagielonia for 270 grand as well. Ryan Bowman joined Gwynham for 280 grand, and Tom Tom Flanagan joined Sampdoria for 420 grand. Now that leaves us with a transfer budget of three million pounds. Hopefully that's enough to bring us in a right back and a striker. No boys, it's no secret we are in the market for a brand new striker. And I've identified a striker who's had failed loan spells at Portsmouth and Ipswich, but he was tipped to be one of England's best up and coming young strikers, and that is Dane Skell of Tottenham Hotspur. He's 19 years old, 65 rated, has decent stats for League One, and we have agreed to take him on loan till the end of the season with an optional future fee of 1.3 million pounds. Now lads. I think this could be an absolute steal, but he has to agree to join us yet. And brilliant news, boys. Dane Scarlett has agreed to join us on a short-term loan. And after scouring and scouting for ages, we've finally managed to find a right-back, and we have brought in Amadou Mbenge from Reading for £1 million. He's 66 rated and 22-year-old. is a massive upgrade in our right-back position. And this means George Nurse can actually play in his natural left-back position. And after the signings of Mbenge and Scarlett, this is how the team is looking that will take us into the second half of Season 1. And do you know what, lads? It looks much, much better now on paper. And I'm hoping we can actually stay in the playoffs and maybe even get promoted in Season 1. Let's simulate for now to the end of the season and see if we did. So we reached the end of Season 1, boys. And despite an absolutely brilliant effort, we only managed to finish 7th. We miss out on the playoffs on goal difference as Derby County sneak. And I have to say, though, boys, I'm immensely proud of how we've done in the league this season. Only losing 9 of our 46 games. It was ultimately draws. That prevented us from getting into the playoffs. The squad has proved it can challenge at the top of League One, and I think with the right additions next season, we can maybe even go for the league title. Our FA Cup campaign was a forgettable one getting to the second round where League Two Markham knocked us out 2-1. That is not good enough. Well, lads, something that has never, ever happened before has officially happened in one of these rebuilds. We've actually won the Bristol Street Motors Trophy, beating Tramway a 5-1 in the final. And for all of our rebuilds in FIFA 23 and FC 24, we have never won this competition. Now, this is how the team is looking at the end of season 
season one and i think it does look really really strong on paper obviously we've had some nice growth from dane scarlett and bayless in midfield bloxham's also grown by five overalls now going into season two i think it's essential we're bringing a new center back as dunkley is 68 rated and 32 year old meaning he's going to start declining and morgan feeney unfortunately despite being 25 year old has actually done his acl and is out for a further six month meaning he's probably going to drop to about 64 rated and we definitely need an improvement on him and if there's any spur funds at all i'd like to bring in a new center midfielder to replace winchester as he's 31 year old and 65 rated probably will start declining soon as well now in terms of stats boys surprisingly jordan shipley was our best player getting 20 goals and 10 assists that's an amazing return from our winger daniel odor got 17 goals and two assists and tom blocks and also chips in with 12 and 7 and after that boys not many goals from the rest of the squad which is something we could do with improving next season so heading into season two lads the objective is simple get promoted from league one so we've arrived in season two and we've got a measly four million pounds to improve our squad meaning i'm probably going to focus on bringing in one center back and one central midfielder we've also had a very exciting young goalkeeper come through our academy in dexter draper who will be our first choice goalkeeper for this season and just to let you know boys mal benning and aaron pierre have both left the club and expiry of the contracts so we kick off our transfer window lads with something a little bit different as you know we've got a very small transfer budget we've not got a lot of depth in the squad and we need to add some quality as well to get us over the line and get us promoted so i'm going to exploit the loan system i've brought in two pretty decent young players from big top six premier league clubs develop them and then offer optional future fees which to be honest with you are very very cheap and first off we have brought in finley burns from manchester city on a two-year loan he's 63 rated 21 year old admittedly not the best center back but he has got a lot of room to grow and at six foot five as well he's not going to be beaten in the air and in two years time we will have the option to make finley burns a permanent shrewsbury player for 700 grand that is an absolute steal and we have also brought in miguel aziz from arsenal on a two-year loan he's 66 rated he looks very decent on paper and when the two years is up he will cost us just one million pound to make permanent i think we've done excellent business so far and we still have our four million pounds to bring in some quality to get us promoted now of the rest of our funds i want to bring in a real marquee signing to fire us to promotion and i have identified job bellingham of sunderland 18 years old 69 rated insane stats and he is going to cost us pretty much all of our transfer budget so hopefully we can make this deal happen and lads it has cost us absolutely everything we've got but for 2.7 million pounds we have brought job bellingham to shrewsbury town and when i say everything we've got i bloody mean it we've got 14 pounds left in our bank account we are skint and unfortunately we do have a lot of players out of contract in the summer and some of them are actually key first team players so we are gonna have to sell one or two players in order to be able to renew these deals now we've reached the end of the transfer window boys and we did have some out going to bring you up to date with aiden o'brien left for cd al dents for 410 grand marco morossi joined stoke city for 730 grand and we also cashed in on Tumani subwale who went to paris fc for 680 grand meaning we were able to renew every single player contract who wanted to renew and we're left with one million pounds going into january let's simulate forward now to january the first and hopefully see shrewsbury at least in the playoffs so we're out of january the first boys and we currently find ourselves sixth in league one once again this time though we have lost substantially more fixtures losing eight games already this season we're one point clear of rotherham and lincoln who are breathing down our necks boys we have to keep winning games and hopefully get cemented into the playoffs we are only five points off the automatic so you never know we could sneak into them but i am happy with ever going so far now we've got a million pounds in the bank lads and i cannot actually see us bringing anyone in with that kind of money i am gonna have a quick scare of the loan market though see if there's anyone worth picking up so brilliant news boys we have managed to make a loan sign in this window and willie Cambala from manchester united will join shrewsbury on loan till the end of the season with an optional future fee of one million pounds i have to admit boys at 20 years old and 65 rated i think we've made a really really good pick up here in Cambala. just to let you know boys morgan feeney did recover from his injury and then he went on to sign for Hull City as he did not want to sign a new contract with us. That is our transfer window definitely finished. Let's sim forward to the end of the season and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're at least in the playoffs. So we're at the end of season two and we have won the league one title finished on 92 points one point clear of Sheffield Wednesday what a second half of the season we had as Shrewsbury Town boss scoring 101 league goals wow that is absolutely insane and Shrewsbury Town are playing championship football next season in the FA Cup we once again had a good run getting to the fourth round where we were knocked out by Premier League Brighton and Hove Albion no shame all in that and we didn't manage to retain our 
Bristol Street Motors Trophy as Stockport won it. So this is the Shrewsbury Town team that has got us promoted to the championship. And I have to say, boys, that team is looking fire on paper. We've had some amazing growth from Bellingham, Scarlet and Block, some wow. And even Burns has had a really good season as well. Now, going into season three and our first season in the championship, we definitely need a centre-back, boys. Dunkley is now 33 and declining. Burns, who's been outstanding this season, is below 70. I want to bring in like a 73 rated, 74 rated centre-back with high potential. That is all going to be dependent on the budget the board give us. Now, in terms of stats, Dane Scarlett was absolutely unbelievable this season, getting 34 goals and 11 assists. And Tom Bayliss, wow, what a season. 29 goals and 23 assists for the man. Kit played another good season, getting 17 and 8. And Tom Blocks had a great season as well, getting 16 and 12. But other than our attacking four boys... Not many goals at all scored from the rest of the squad, which is a slight disappointment. Now, let's simulate forward into season three and our first season in the championship. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, with the right additions, we might be able to sneak into the playoffs. So, we've arrived in season three, boys, and we've only got £8 million to improve our squad. That is not a big amount of money. And our first order of business this season, boys, is going to be to settle every single buy option on all current free loan players in Finley Burns, Willie Quambala, and Miguel Aziz. They've both been excellent for us. They're all developing at a good rate, and I want to bring them all to Shrewsbury on a permanent basis. No, boys, we have made Finley Burns and Willie Quambala permanent fixtures here at Shrewsbury Town, but Miguel Aziz is wanting upwards of 30 grand a week. There's no way we're going to pay him that kind of money. So instead, we're going to assess our options and look for some better alternatives in the transfer market than Miguel Aziz. However, we do still have his services for 12 more months as he's on a two-year loan deal. So, lads, I've made the decision on the centre-back we want to bring into the football club, and to be honest with you, he isn't going to blow you you away straight away but if you did watch the Carlisle United rebuild you will know that Diego Monteiro was absolutely outstanding for us and we did end up selling him in the final season to bring in a more experienced centre back however I want to use Monteiro again in this rebuild and I want to bring him to Shrewsbury Town he's got unbelievable potential in this year's game and he's only going to cost us 1.7 million pounds at the least I think it's an absolute no-brainer to bring him to the football club and for just 1.5 million pounds we have brought Diego Monteiro to Shrewsbury Town now the signing of Montiero leaves us with £2 million. And do you know what, boys? I'm actually going to save this till January the 1st because I'm really happy with the squad that we have. Now, admittedly, looking at the team, it doesn't look much better than last season. But I think we've added high potential players like Montiero, Burns and Quambala all on permanent deals. We have got the money to one side available if we want to make the Aziz deal permanent as well. Obviously, we're not going to challenge for promotion this season with this squad, but I do think we'll be a mid-table side. And to be honest with you, I'll be happy with that. So we've reached deadline day, boys, and not one single player has left the football club. We're now simulating forward through to January the 1st and I'm just hoping to see Shrewsbury Town at mid-table and not in a relegation battle. We've arrived at January the 1st, boys, and the Shrewsbury Town team just continues to surprise me. We're currently sat 6th in the Championship, only losing 4 of our opening 24 games. That is absolutely astounding. However, we are level on points with Coventry and we do have Sunderland and Bristol City breathing down our necks for a place in the playoffs, so we have to maintain this good form going into the end of the season. But who knows, boys? We could actually get into the playoffs at this rate. So there's been one outgoing in the build-up to January. Daniel Odor has joined Coventry City on a free transfer. And as we know, we've got £2 million if we want to bring a player in. But I genuinely think, looking at that squad on paper, it looks very, very strong. Every single player is now over 70 rated. Players like Bellingham, Scarlett and Bloxham are absolutely smashing it. I'm just thinking, with £2 million, do I really bring in a player who gets straight into that starting eleven? I personally don't think so. And I did have an idea, boys, to permanently sign Miguel Aziz. But for some reason, the game has taken the buy option away from me. I would have loved to have made him permanent lads, but it's not going to be happening. So we have had one final outgoing, boys. Taylor Perry has left the club to join West Bromwich Albion for 1.6 million. Bringing our transfer window off to a close. We're now simulating straight through to the end of the season and hopefully we've managed to clinch a playoff place. So we've arrived at the end of the season three, boys, and we actually finished fourth in the championship, gaining 81 points, only losing seven out of 46 games, which is the third lowest in the entire division. Have we gone all the way and won the playoff? Playoffs. So we'll be taking on Burnley in the semis, which I think could be a really difficult tie. And it is time to find out, boys. Let's find out together. And we did. We beat Luton Town 1-0 in the final, meaning we are in the Premier League in season four. And we beat Burnley 2-1 over two legs to set up a tie with Luton, who we beat 1-0 at Wembley. We've gone from League One to the Premier League with Shrewsbury Town. Now, looking at the team, it is actually looking quite good on paper with our standout players being Draper, Bellingham, Scarlett and Bloxham. But we really do need to 
add some defensive reinforcements if we're going to be successful in the Premier League. I'm thinking we need a new centre back and a new left back. And our standout player this season was once again Dane Scarlett getting 20 goals in 44 games. Tom Bloxham had an amazing season going by six overalls and scoring 18 and assisting 14. Jordan Shipley had a great season as well, getting 16 and 5. And Tom Bayliss on the centre attacking midfield position got 15 goals and 14 assists. So all in all, a really excellent return from all of our players. Let's get stuck now into season four and our first season in the Premier League and just hopefully we stay up. So we've arrived in season four, boys, and we've only got £41 million pounds to improve our squad. So this transfer window is absolutely vital that we get our transfer targets spot on. And for some reason, boys, the buy option is now back for Miguel Aziz, meaning we can get him at the football club for just £1.3 million. And this is why you've got to be exploiting the loan system, boys. Miguel Aziz, 74 rated, 23 year old for a million pounds. That is incredible. So as we know, boys, in this transfer window, we have to improve our defensive line. And the first signing we've identified is Lewis Hall of Genoa. Really, really good young player in FC 24. 74 rated, 21 year old. Very, very well-rounded stats. And he has recently just moved to Genoa, but we can get him for 11 million. And for 9 million pounds, we have brought Lewis Hall to Shrewsbury Town. We've also identified Omar El Hilali from Atletico Bilbao. A 77 rated, 22 year old Moroccan right back. He's got excellent stats and he's going to cost us between 18.1 and 15.4 million pounds, meaning we can definitely bring him to Shrewsbury Town. And I think this would be an amazing signing. And for 14.75 million pounds, we have brought Omar El Hilali to Shrewsbury Town. Now, after the signings of El Hilali and Lewis Hall, we are left with £10 million. Pounds. And I think, looking at the team, I want to bring in a new left winger to replace Jordan Shipley because he's 29 years old and 74 rated, meaning he's got no more room to grow. So I want to bring in a younger, better alternative who's got high potential. And the left winger we've identified is Myron Van Brederode from AZ Alkmaar. 76 rated, 23 year old. Really decent stats and a lot of play styles. And it's only going to cost us between £10 and £8.6 million pounds because He's out of contract at the end of the season. And for just £8.5 million, pounds, we have brought Myron Van Brederode to Shrewsbury Town. And that leaves us with just £1 million pound of our transfer budget remaining, meaning our transfer window is finished. So we've reached transfer deadline day, boys, and we have had three outgoings to bring you up to date with. Amadou and Benge has joined Salzburg for £3.6 million. Roland Idowu has joined Hull on loan for the rest of the season. And we have cashed in on George Nurse, who has joined Southampton for £2.5 million. Bringing a close to our transfer window, boys, we're now simulating forward to January the 1st, and hopefully Shrewsbury Town are outside of the relegation zone. So we've arrived at January the 1st, boys, and we're currently sitting 12th in the Premier League on 24 points. Eight points clear of Everton in the relegation zone. I have to say, boys, I'm really, really impressed with the start we've had this season. And... We are actually in a Carabao Cup semi-final and we will take on Crystal Palace and we have got a real chance here of getting to a Wembley final in Season 4. Now, we only have 823 grand left in our bank account, boys, so we're making no incomings at all in this window. We have had two players leave the club on loan, boys. Vittorio Poli has joined Sheffield United on loan till the end of the season and Willy Quambala has left for Torino on loan till the end of the season as well. So, if we're after deadline day, boys, there's been no further incomings, no further outgoings. Let's simulate forward to the end of the season. So we arrived at the end of the season, boys, and I have to say, I am so proud of the Shrewsbury Town team. We actually finished 10th in the Premier League on 49 points, and we were 15 points clear of the relegation zone, where Leeds, Wolves and Bournemouth went down. Admittedly, we have got work to do in the transfer market, but I think with the right additions, maybe we could even push next season for a Conference League spot. Now, in the FA Cup, we got all the way to the quarterfinals, where we were knocked out by Blackburn Rovers on penalties. That is absolutely gutted. But, boys, we won our first major trophy of the rebuild, winning the Carabao Cup, beating in Leicester City 3-1 in the final. Now, in this video, we've won the Bristol Street Motors Trophy and the Carabao Cup Trophy, something we've never done before in any rebuild. Now, looking at the team at the end of the season, there are some really good players in this team, like Tom Bloxon, who's 80. Five rated. Dane Scarlett's 81. Bellingham 82. Al Halala 80. Draper 82. Some really solid growth across the entire team and I'm really happy to see Burns and Monteiro go to 77 rated each. However though, going into next season, I definitely want to add a bit more steel to that black line. So I'm going to target a centre-back to replace either Burns or Monteiro. And I also want to bring in the new central midfielder lads because I do think we're lacking in that position. In terms of stats lads, our top scorer was Tom Bayliss getting 21 goals and 10 assists in 48 games. Tom Bloxham had a great season as well, getting 19 goals 
thousand to assist. Dane Scarlett chipped in with 19 as well. And Job Bellingham has started to add goals to his game, getting 10 in 49 and 7 assists as well. So all in all, I'm really, really happy with the output of the players. Going into season five, hopefully they can push and maybe even get into the conference league. So we've arrived in season five, boys, and we've only got 31 million pounds to improve our squad, meaning we're going to have to sell a few players. And boys, we're going to have to list two players who have seemingly reached their potential in Finley Burns and Miguel Aziz. As we can see with Aziz, it looks like it's going to be at least 100 weeks until he can upgrade another overall point. And Finley Burns is around a similar time frame of about 85 weeks until he's going to grow. They've both reached the ceiling, boys. They've been amazing servants for us. They've got us to mid-table in the Premier League. But if we're going to improve, we have to improve on these players so they are free to leave the club. And boys, I've just realised we won the Carabao Cup last season. So we should be in the Europa League anyway, shouldn't we? Or at least the Conference League. I'm sure winning the Carabao Cup means you go straight into the Europa League. I could be wrong though. So we have cashed in on Finley Burns and Miguel Aziz with Finley Burns joining Leeds United for 9.7 million and Miguel Aziz joining Nance for 9.6 million. Sad to see him go. We've got to get better players in. Now after the sales of Burns and Aziz, we're left with 48 million pounds to bring in a centre midfielder and a centre back. Now boys, we are starting a semi raid of Tottenham Hotspur as we have listed two of their players as our key targets in this window. The first being Lamine Kamal at a 79 rated 23 old centre midfielder with insanely well rounded stats he's going to cost us between 20 and 17 million so we are going to bring him to the club and for 18 million pound we have brought Lamine Kamara to Shrewsbury Town now the second Tottenham Hotspur player that we're going in for is centre back Kai Kitt he's 78 rated 23 year old really really decent stats and he's only going to cost between 20 and 17 million pounds meaning we can definitely get him in and for 17 million pounds we have brought Kai Kitt to Shrewsbury Town now our raid of Tottenham is complete we're left with 8 million pounds meaning our transfer window is probably finished. So we've arrived at the end of the transfer window and there's been one notable outgoing. The rest are all youth players going out on loan. We have sold Max Mata to Cassim Passa for 820 grand. And it turns out, boys, I was actually right about us being in Europe from winning the Carabao Cup. And we are in the Conference League where we take on Royal Union St. Galois. Aberdeen and Ferran Carossa. I think that's a very, very decent group that we should be getting through, boys. Let's simulate four to January the 1st and see if we manage to. So, we're at the January the 1st, boys, and we currently sit 10th in the Premier League, once again having a very solid season, only losing five of our opening 19 games. We're actually only five points off a European place, and we are a whopping 14 points clear of the relegation zone, so it does look like we've got a chance of European football this season. We just need to maintain this good form. Now, the Conference League was not an issue at all. We absolutely breezed our group, gaining 14 points from six games. Not not losing a single game and we are now into the round of 16. Now we do have nine million pounds to spend in this window boys but I don't think we're going to bring a player in who actually gets into the first team for that kind of money. So as of right now we're just simulating straight through to the end of the season. So we've arrived at the end of season five lads and we have finished fourth in the Premier League securing Champions League football for next season and we lost just seven times in 38 games. We was only 10 points off tabletop in Manchester City. I cannot believe how well we have done this season. Our FA Cup campaign ended in the fifth round where we lost to Nottingham Forest. And lads, feast your eyes. The third trophy of the rebuild. We won the Conference League, beating Wolfsburg 2-1 in the final. And I have to say, lads, we did some demolition jobs on the way to the final. We absolutely smashed the Gardens IF 8-2 on aggregate. We then smashed Feyenoord 7-3 on aggregate. And then we beat Ayers at Alkmaar 5-3 on aggregate to then beat Wolfsburg in the final. What a season. So this is how the team is looking at the end of the season, boys. And I have to say, there are some genuine world-class players in this team. Tom Bloxham is 91 rated and he's 24 years old. He could be the biggest hidden gem we've ever uncovered in a rebuild, ever. But going into next season, I want to start getting the players who are under 80 rated replaced. So Montiero, Bayliss and potentially Van Brederode, but I'm going to give him a bit more time to develop. So we're definitely in the market for a new centre-back and centre-attacking midfielder next summer. And in terms of stats, Dane Scarlett, are you joking me? 40 goals in 45 games. That is absolutely unbelievable. So all in all, lads, an absolutely incredible, incredible season. Let's get stuck into the Champions League, boys. So we've arrived in season six and we have got a whopping £118 million to spend. So as we're well aware, boys, we're in the market for a centre-back and we have identified an absolute steal. Goncalo Ignacio of Florentino, 86 rated, 26-year-old, amazing stats in the final year of his contract and it's only going to cost us between 43 and 54 million. This is a no-brainer. Let's get him to Shrewsbury Town. 
And for just £53 million, we have brought Goncalo Ignacio to Shrewsbury Town. Now, we're also in the market for a centre-attacking midfielder, boys, and I want to bring in a player I've never used before in any rebuild. Carlos Alcaraz, originally at Southampton, now at Hoffenheim. He's 25-year-old, 84 rated. Has got unbelievable stats, can play as a centre midfielder, a striker as well, and he's only going to cost us between 44 and 55 million. Again, lads, I think this is another no-brainer. And for £45.8 million, pounds, we have brought Carlos Alcaraz to Shrewsbury Town. Now, after the signings of Ignacio and Alcaraz, we're left with just £3 million, pounds, meaning our transfer window is more than likely finished. And our only outgoings have been loaning out youth players, so I don't think there's going to be any more business done in this window. So we've arrived at the end of the transfer window, boys. There's been no further incomings and no further outgoings. All that's left to do now is check our Champions League group. And we have got Atletico Madrid, Ajax and Dynamo Kiev. This is not an easy group by any means, but I do think we should have enough to get through it. Let's simulate forward to January the 1st and see if we did. So we've arrived at January the 1st, boys, and we are having a very, very solid season, sitting in fourth position, level on points of Arsenal, only six points off tabletop in Chelsea. So Champions League football next season is another distinct possibility. Now, speaking of the Champions League, boys, we did manage to get through our group, finishing in second place on 12 points, winning four, losing two. And we will take on Bayern Munich in the round of 16. That's a very difficult tie. Hopefully we can get through it. Now, we've only got £8 million of a transfer budget remaining, boys. So, probably going to be no incomings at all in this window. Now, lads, we have actually had some movement and it's players going out of the football club. We have actually cashed in on Diego Montiero, who's gone to Newcastle United for £25 million. And we have also sold Lewis Hall to Lille for £35 million. So, boys, we now have £60 million at our disposal. And I'm really looking to bring in a new left-back to replace Lewis Hall, as he's not grown for, like, two seasons. And I want to add a real world-class left-back to our squad. So we've identified the replacement for Lewis Hall and it is Fran Garcia of Arsenal, 85 rated, 29 year old Spanish left back. Very, very decent stats and he's only going to cost us between 56 and 45 million pounds, meaning we can definitely bring him to Shrewsbury Town. And for 51 million pounds, we have brought Fran Garcia to Shrewsbury Town, meaning this will be the Shrewsbury Town team that takes us through to the end of the season and just by adding Garcia to that left side, the team looks so much better already and hopefully it improves our performance in the Premier League and Champions League. So now we're officially simulating forward through to the end of the season and let's see how Shrewsbury return got on in season six we've arrived at the end of season six boys and we have secured an incredible second place finish in the premier league on 70 points just three points off tabletop in arsenal being the league's top scorers i have to say boys i am really impressed with our performance this season now in the champions league we didn't manage to get to the final arsenal were taking atletico madrid we were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Arsenal 3-1 over two legs. So hopefully next season we can actually push on and get to the final. In the FA Cup, we were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Bournemouth, who will go on to play Stoke in the final. So this is how the team is looking at the end of season six, and Tom Bloxham is 96 rated. He has got to be one of the best hidden gems I've ever found. The team is looking really, really strong on paper, but going into season seven, I want to bring in a new left winger to replace Van Brederode because he's just not growing at a good rate. And I also wouldn't mind bringing in a new right back to replace El Halali because he hasn't grown much in the last few seasons either. And I think if we improve these two positions, we've got a real chance of getting to the Champions League final next season. Now in terms of stats, our best player this season was Tom Bloxham getting 26 goals and 13 assists. No surprises though, reaching 96 rated. <laughs> in season seven and we've got 150 million pounds to improve our squad it's time to bring some world-class players through the door at shrewsbury town as we know boys are in the market for a right back and we have identified one of the most well-rounded right backs on the planet reese james of ac milan is 85 rated got absolutely insane stats and he will only cost us between 56 and 45 million this is a no-brainer let's bring him to shrewsbury town and for just 48 million pounds we have brought reese james to shrewsbury town let's just hope he can stay fit and after the signing of reese james was still left with 104 million pounds to bring in a left winger and the left winger we have identified is Arsene Zakarian of FC Bayern Munich he's 86 rated 26 year old he has got unbelievable offensive stats he's going to cost us between 93 and 74 million so we can definitely make it happen and for 77 million pounds we have brought Arsene Zakarian to Shrewsbury Town and boys with the additions of James and Zakarian just look at how good that team looks on paper especially if Tom Bloxon sitting at 96 rated is this the season that we lift the Champions League trophy? I certainly hope so. So we've arrived at the end of the transfer window, boys. There's been no further incomings, but there has been some outgoings. Willie Quamballo joined Sporting CP for 4.1 million. Academy graduate Simon Sommer has joined Bournemouth on loan till the end of the season. Vittorio Poli has joined Real Valladolid on loan till the end of the season. And Jonathan John has joined Luton Town on loan till the end of the season as well. And our Champions League group is in, boys, and we've got AC Milan, Borussia Dortmund, and a club we've once rebuilt, Vittoria SC. That is a very interesting group. It's a pretty difficult group, but I do think we've got enough to get 
through it. Let's simulate falls to January the 1st and see if we did. So we've arrived at January the 1st, boys, and it's safe to say we've had a pretty poor start to our Premier League season, currently sitting in 6th position on 31 points. But we are only 8 points off tabletop in Arsenal, as it is very, very tight at the top of the Premier League. They're in the Champions League. We finished second in our group, scoring a whopping 17 goals. And we will take on Paris Saint-Germain in the round of 16. That is a very difficult tie. But if we can get past PSG, we can get past anyone in this competition. Now, we do have £17 million, pounds, but with that kind of money, we're not bringing anyone in who gets straight into the starting eleven. So, we're probably going to save it for next season. So, as of right now, we're simulating straight through to the end of the season. So, we've arrived at the end of season seven, boys, and we did manage to sneak back into the top four, finishing in third place on 67 points. Ten points behind Premier League winning Arsenal. So, once again, Shrewsbury time will be playing Champions League football next season. And we added another domestic trophy to our trophy cabinet, beating Nottingham Forest 4-2 to win the FA Cup. And you might want to add one more success story to that as we are in the Champions League final where we're going to take on AC Milan. We beat PSG 6-3 over two legs in the round of 16, then beat Barcelona 4-2 over two legs in the quarters, and then beat Villarreal 5-1 in the semis to take on AC Milan in the Champions League final. So this is the team that has got us to a Champions League final, and I have to say, boys, Tom Bloxham at 98 rated is the best hidden gem I have ever used in any rebuild, any FIFA of all time. He is 98 rated. He was a 61 rated right midfielder when we first got him. He's now 98 rated. That is absolutely insane. We've got a really, really good squad on paper, and I'm really hoping we've got enough to actually beat Milan in the final. Now, in terms of stats, our best player this season was Dane Scarlett, getting 30 goals and 7 assists in 49 games. Tom Bloxham had a great season, getting 27 and 10. No surprises at all of him being 98 rated. So now, boys, all that's left to do is take on Milan at the Estadio do SL Benfica for the Champions League trophy. So here we go, boys. It is time for the Champions League final. Shrewsbury Town versus AC Milan. Come on the boys let's get this champions league trophy won and i think the aim for this game is just give the ball to tom bloxham and see what he can do try your runners or not oh good interception oh no leo oh no we give the ball into our position nunez oh no nope. what a save by our goalkeeper jesus man we don't want to be giving away chances like that already but bloxham's got the ball now come on let's see what he can do he's got the pace oh he's got the pace tom bloxham come on might go all the way, boys. I'm going to go all the way. Oh, he's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. That's what you get from your 98-rated star player. He drinks the tea and puts Shrewsbury Town 1-0 up in the Champions League final. Actually, a brilliant run and finish on blocks from there. Oh, no, I'm not. What am I doing? I'm going to go all the way again. Oh, what a save. What a save by Draper. What are we doing? Bellingham, I'd like a second goal, you know, boys, because they've had chances. What a ball. Zakarian blocks on back stake. It's going to be 2-0. Oh, it's 2-0, boys. Tom blocks on with a brace. A brilliant goal on the counter-attack. And our star man has got two goals inside half an hour. What a brilliant ball. And this is, by the way, by Zakarian. And blocks on, just passes it underneath the goalkeeper. And it's 2-0 to Shrewsbury Town. We've took our chances. AC Milan, their finishing has been woeful in this final. I'm trying to get forward here, AC Milan. With Sazankov. Oh, Nunes, what a save by Draper. How many chances do we want to give up? Out, out. Oh, what a save again by Draper. Wow, he has been outstanding in this half. We need to get this ball cleared. Scarlet. Al oh, we're in. Alcraz, one pass and we're in. Scarlet's there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, boys. It's 3-0 to Shrewsbury somehow. And for all the chances AC Milan have wasted, one through ball puts Alcaraz in. And we had to sweat it to Scarlet, and it is 3 0 to Shrewsbury Town. 50, they've got 20 minutes left. They've got to go all out for it, and hopefully that'll leave some space at the back for us. Leo, oh, there goes Draper again. Draper again. He, how many saves has Draper made in this final? Blocks him. For the hat trick. The star man. Can he get an hat trick? Tom blocks him. Have a shot. Oh, what a save. Scarlet, oh, we couldn't get the hat trick, but we are now into the 90th minute, boys. Two additional added on. Surely now we've won the final. Not back forward. Oh, hang on. Blocks him for the hat trick. Yes, he's got the hat trick. Tom blocks him. A 98 rated winger gets a hat trick in the Champions League final. And lads, I do not. We've had four chances and scored four goals. I don't believe this. A lovely layoff from Scarlet and blocks him from the edge of the area. He levers it past Magnum, and it is now 4-0 to Shrewsbury Town. And we have officially won the Champions League final, smashing AC Milan. Well, I say smashing. 
they had an absolute hat full of chances on another day they score eight goals but who cares we are the champions of europe and all that's left to do boys is watch draper our academy graduate who made about eight massive saves in this final lift the champions league trophy for shrewsbury town and Shrewsbury Town are the champions of Europe. And that is another rebuild successfully boxed off. So I just want to say a massive thank you for watching the video, boys. If you are new around here, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as it really does help me out. We are very, very close now to 2,000 subscribers. And I will see you the same time next week for the next rebuild. Cheers.